Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to go to the darker side. I was doing some warm-ups before this on the other save file, and, well, I will do my best, because this place is like the Grandmaster Galaxy of Super Mario Odyssey, and that it's designed to be the longest and hardest ultimate challenge in the game. And it may live up to that reputa reputation. I mean, it is definitely long and hard, but... But... I don't know, there's some, some other things in the game that just feel harder to execute than the things that are here. So here we are. The darker side, which really doesn't look much darker than any of the other sides, if you ask me. Woo! Huh? What are all these people doing here? Oh, let's go find out, I guess. We might as well. Hey, everyone! We're here to cheer you on! Your courage is inspiring! Woo! It'll be difficult. Good luck. Angel ahead, beware! <laughs> Guy, I'm surprised you're not panicking at the danger. I don't think everyone's got dialogue here, but there's a good amount of people that have dialogue. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure you take your time at every obstacle, no matter how tempting it is to be impatient. <laughs> Thank you there, Miss Lock Lady. And, yep. Pauline is even, well, Pauline, the gang, are even doing a concert for us for the ultimate of moon collecting. Go Mario, jump, man! Yeah! Obviously a reference to Jumpman, Mario's original name. Alright, we begin. And now, just keep in mind that if you die at any time throughout this, it's back to the beginning for you. <laughs> <laughs> no checkpoints. No mercy. So let's do it. We're gonna do this like a pro. First try. Probably not. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Just that little lip of the pipe is always messing with me. So we're gonna start with UFO here. Hey, we're heavy again. Yep. Back to regular gravity. And. A UFO here is optional, but if you no, oh, great. If you defeat UFO, you'll be able to get a life apart. So that's probably something that's worth getting. Probably at least until you get the hang of these areas and you're otherwise very tired of going through this 800 times. So, <laughs> oh, oh, nailed it. Um, you can also hit it a different way by just going up over here. And switching the camera around, long jumping over, and having a good day. <laughs> it's, a, it's another way to do it too, and I thought I would show you both ways. And we are ready to go. But are we truly ready? Probably not. Because this is Doom in video game form. Alright, everything sinks. Everything. And I mean everything sinks. So be quick, be precise, do not miss your jumps. I'm gonna actually let this go down so I can carefully, there we go. And I'll wait for the poles to sink in. I'm gonna do in rhythmic jumps. Yeah. Whoa, see what I mean? Let's uh, it's gotta make sure that your timing is spot on for that one. And we made it. I mean, yeah, if you fall in the lava, it's not the end of the world, especially at the end. Especially if you have the life apart, but anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, there is some forgiveness to this, but there's so much of this that you cannot... You cannot, uh, be overconfident. Alright, now we got L Bowser's lava long jumps of doom. Ooh. Ooh, and we made it. That's probably one of the easiest parts, actually, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, this is sort of easy with the uh, lava bubbles, but the thing about it is that 
you can easily take hits here just by rushing things and having to go back to the beginning if you should miss your jumps. So try not to. And it's not that hard to get around per se, as a matter of fact. You could even use Kirby's Maxim Tomato here to get yourself a couple of rings for whatever reason if you should dare to risk taking hits. <laughs> I suppose. Well, I should say I risk losing your lava bubble. And here's a crisscross section where it's a lot tighter than it looks. Keep that in mind. And if you want to, there's a heart. Well, well, that, that'll do. <laughs> I, I was just demonstrating that the heart indeed works. This, this heart is not glitched, so as you, as you can see there, yes. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> alright, so alright. Let's go on the potted cannon and head over to the next area and needless to say we're getting like a, a musical dealio for every part of the game which is making things extra epic for the runs I suppose <laughs> we are now in sandland aha and the uproots you can actually use this to skip a lot of things if you if you're up to it but Try not to dilly-dally on these, because we've got some uh, spiky friends here that would gladly take a couple of your hearts away. Well, at least on some of these platforms. They'll immediately spawn on the platform that you land on, uh, if they're going to spawn. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to wait for these guys to kind of charge towards me a bit here, and then I can get over them a lot easier. You can also skip stuff with your hat, you know, hat jumping around the corner and stuff like that, but... Eh, up to you how you want to tackle stuff. It's it's the ultimate challenge after all. You've got to do what you've got to do for maximum consistency. By the way, this is icy water, so uh, don't stay in it too long. That's why I'm kind of avoiding it to see if I can wait for the right opportunity to run through stuff here. And probably here looks good. Oh, fine. <laughs> Whatever, whatever. I'll just go ahead here and... Oh, wait, 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 oh yes, Y button. What am I... T I'm panicking, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and this section right here really rem uh, makes me wonder why I forgot about Yoshi's tongue licking. <laughs> I don't know why I did before. Maybe because it's so underused, but yeah. Anyway, just hit the Y button when you want to switch sides. Be diligent so that you don't get fuzzied. Not the good kind of fuzzies, the spiky kind of fuzzies. And we are now in the Wooded Kingdom. <laughs> uh, you could start that up to get the blocks destroyed, but I don't know if that's really all that beneficial. I mean, maybe in the last section it is. If you really want to, there's a heart up there if you really want to get that. But, mm, I don't know about that. Over here, though, you might want to do it because you can use this to actually go under the blocks rather than over the blocks. And, oh, jeez, I almost took a hit there, but they, you're phasing out right at the last second there. And look at this! You might have seen it in the background, <laughs> the Yoshi section. But, yes, Sphinx is even here! And I can't talk to Sphinx, so I'm in Yoshi form, I guess. Greetings, traveler, and to your head as well. Can you answer my riddle? I will actually try this time, because if you make it through the riddle without any misquestions, I should say the riddles without any misquestions, you will get another life up heart that will unlock for subsequent runs. But as the only kingdom that I, the Great Sphinx, have not yet, or have not visited, that's... Uh, you were definitely here, here... And there, so you weren't at the Mushroom Kingdom? Not even flying in the air? Dear ye giver of the correct answers, take this with you. Yes! Yes! But there's more. <laughs> you can get a ton of coins if you, uh, uh, continuing, like, if you're continuing this. Ah, uh, one new traveler and hat buddy. Were you intimidated by my intense scholarly aura? Well, I noticed. You have now answered a question correctly in all the lands. Time for the big finish. Let's go. Which of these unique attributes do I not possess? Uh, uh, 
Uh... Well, you're definitely waterproof. I... Are you sand resisted? Probably. I don't... I never seen you gardening. <laughs> I guess you were happy with the zero gravity. I'll say gardening skill. Yeah! You're a smart one, aren't you? But this isn't over yet. The quiz continues if you think. I'm going to tell you right away, like I usually do, so you can just try again. You're dead wrong, so buckle up. Next question. <laughs> what will you remember most about your adventures through all the kingdoms? Um, I, I think he wants me to butter him up. <laughs> uh, so let's say talking to a sphinx. I wonder if that is true, flattering traveler. <laughs> I've just got a few questions left. Two to go. Why do I ask people questions? It's exciting, it leads to insights. It passes the time, it's a chance to talk. Well, that, that, I don't know, actually. Uh, it could be that you're trying to give more insights to people, but at the same time, you make fun of people if they don't answer them correctly. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, well, I believe he's got a lot more questions than uh, what I'm showing here, so... Yeah, anyway, I think... I'll... May, I guess I could say it leads to insights. Nope. Let's just say things didn't work out. You're gonna have to start over. <laughs> I will ask no more questions for now. Yeah, see, the, uh, the thing about it is that you won't get your coin prize until you do another run on the darker side, so... That's kind of annoying, <laughs> especially since not all the questions really have clear-cut answers. So yeah, if you don't take the side route there, you're going to have the, the road that you are on come all the way down to this edge here, as you might have just seen over here. Anyway, now over here is a pretty neat little skip. I would like to show that skip if possible. Oh, 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 see, there's a scarecrow down there. Okay, I'm gonna throw the hat off the edge. And grab on. Ooh, it's gotta be timed right here. Ooh, dang it. Oh, that. Fine. <laughs> oh, come on. Just, just come on, just work with me here. And this is an intended skip, by the way. If uh, I can get this to work here. Come on. Come on. Oh, dang it. And you know, you, I, I'll prove to you that it is that it is an intended skip to boot because uh, uh, there's actually a block up top. <laughs> if you can believe it, eh, come on, come on, just latch on to the the dang scarecrow, man. Oh, don't go in that direction. I want you to go backwards. <laughs> just come on, lock on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's very, very finicky. Yeah, I was just whipping my arms at the ground all day and all night. Look at that! You could skip that whole section and get yourself a heart to boot. <laughs> Should I do that section? No, it's not that hard or anything like that. Um, uh, probably. <laughs> uh, just as long as I can get my hat back. Uh, safely. Uh... Can I get my hat back safe? <laughs> Maybe I can long jump back. Yeah, I'll just land over here. And Cappy should. Okay, there we go. So then I should be able to restart this from the beginning. Happily. There we go. Now, what you're normally supposed to do here. I'm only doing this because it's not that difficult. It's, you're supposed to, yeah, go through the Bowser blocks and wall kick your way through the obstacles and stuff like that. You want to actually wait about here instead of going to the coin rings this time. Because uh, the other is more like a side route that's riskier than is necessary. So I just go ahead and go around there, and obviously don't get pushed off into the lava or anything like that. But now the blocks are following you, and they will push you off into the lava, but yeah, you see, it's not that hard of a section or anything like that, that's why I wanted to show you both ways, but... Alright. Let's fly to the end. No, actually, well, there is actually a, a exploit that you can use to get all the way to the very, very end of the entire challenge and skip most of the challenge. I don't know how to do that, though. Like, I know how to do getting up to the top of that block here. But anyway, let's go to the Lost Kingdom. And I'm just gonna kind of, yes, go get myself nicked by the fluffy, fluffy dealios. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to dive. Well, 
Well, I hope that this will turn out okay. Woo! <laughs> okay, I think it's gonna turn out fine. It's not, it's not like the first ones are that difficult per se, but I just don't wanna don't wanna lose at this point, you know. <laughs> for, for obvious reasons. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. And Volbonans time. Got to spring ourselves to each individual one across the lava pits and throw our hat to boots. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of coins you can get down there. I don't know if the left one's easier or if the right one's easier. In all honesty, I'll show you why. Because yeah, you're at like half height when you want to throw your hat, and it's just like so much easier to time your your hat throw when you're just right at the correct height because of 3d perspective and stuff like that all right but yeah you can apparently glide with glide on all the way past that painting over there and to the back side of there to actually make it to the end there but i i don't understand how that works at all but i want to show you the whole thing anyway so all right for this you really truly do not want to hit the lasers ever <laughs> <laughs> if you can help it, as much as you as you might be uh, thinking that it's impossible to avoid hitting the lasers, because you got all these critters coming at you, don't just aim true with your hats and switch sides as you go. If you hit the lasers, it's not the end of the world, but you're going to be playing a lot of laser jump rope along the way on this platform that's going to feel a lot slower when you're playing laser jump rope. <laughs> now they're coming from both sides. And just keep killing them off. You'll be okay. I assure you. Or just lead them around. You know how to lead enemies around, like leading a boo around. Oh shoot, this is getting, getting a little crowded here. <laughs> uh, and we got the nice, awesome Bowser music going on here to boot, by the way. And yeah, you see all the lasers that would uh, be coming out and after you. Yes, they will kill off all the critters as you go if you hit the lasers, but the lasers are a lot more complicated to manage than the uh, uh, the spike guys themselves. So, and now, try. Ooh, that's not really where I want to be. I, I want to be on the very tip top of this, if possible. If possible. I don't think I can actually get to the tip top of this. <sighs> maybe not. Well, that's maybe as high as I can get. Alright. I'll try and gather my ascent as I go. Oh, mother of Arceus. <laughs> can I make it to this? Yes! That's what I was going for. That's why I wanted to be at the top of that first one, but... Alright. It's like you can skip a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, if you want to get a heart on the side, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. Because it's, it's instant death anyway, so... At least most of this is instant death anyway. Alright, oil drums, jump over them. We oh, yeah, actually time it better with the barrels. Yeah, you, what, you can use this platform in the middle to get across the barrels, but... Oh, shoot. But it's a little bit, a little bit dicier than actually going all the way down to this side, because you can actually hide yourself underneath the platform and uh, jump through the pla- OH SHOOT! Jump through the platform. But yeah, anyway, the KO Donkey Kong. Like at New Dong City. And... Head over to a Bowser painting. But don't worry about that hit that I took, because we're actually gonna get our hits replenished. So here we go. Let's go in like Super Mario 64. <laughs> and... 6 health. But this is not the same Bowser section that we were at before. Oh no 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 no. This one was specially designed just for this section of the game. And it is a lot more difficult than the first Bowser section. Slash your arms and you want to guard yourself against the moon balls or whatever you want to call these things. And yeah, they are coming at an unlimited rate, so... And now they're going to be shooting out from behind, so you got to kind of maintain that while trying to make progress forward. Oh, shoot! Maybe I should just... Ooh, okay. Maybe... Yeah, I think I should focus more on the back ones and the front ones. I know I have to do both of them, but <laughs> it's rhythmic. And I got to get through mostly unscathed if I can help it 
for obvious reasons. All right. I'm just gonna hop up here really quick before things start getting out of hand. And there we go. Nice. And down we go. We're gonna unfortunately lose Bowser. I don't know what he's doing over here anyway, but... <laughs> Maybe he just came to help us because he's appreciative of us helping him out over at the... Uh, at the moon, uh, yeah, Moon King, though, as I say. But anyway, let's see what's up here really quick. I don't remember if there was anything up here. So I'm just gonna take a peek, see. Yeah, there was something up here. Yeah. Got a couple of coin stacks hanging out up here that you can't necessarily see. It's like they don't load into existence. Unless you're up here, it's kind of weird. And yeah, if you want to redo the Bowser section, you can jump down there, but. Yeah, yeah we're good. Alright, so. Let's go up, see, and get a little message from the developers. What do I mean by that? Well, let's read off the letters, shall we? T H A N K. I think you see where this is going. It's all like Super Mario World ish here. Y O U. Thank you, and scare away that dang UFO. <laughs> if you want to see it in full, there you go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll get my hat back this way. Ha <laughs> ha. And believe it or not, we're done. We actually did it. Let's try. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, here's a replica building of New Dong City Hall, the tallest building. Long Journey's End. That uh, spire at the top of the building is a lot a lot bigger than it looks from down here. Let me put it that way. You can see it from the beginning too, but it still is a lot bigger than it looks from the ground. We've come a long way, you and me. Go back around the building, because there's a humongous coin stack. <laughs> this is pretty hilarious. <laughs> it's just, there's a little stack next to a humongous stack. Well, two little stacks, I should say, but... You stand in the middle, <laughs> everything comes crashing down! <laughs> I guess that's a nice way to coin farm if you can manage to make it here consistently. I wouldn't count on that because this is place is pretty dang hard. I'm surprised I did so well on this actually, but maybe it's just like as I said, I just... It's when I concentrate more that I do so much better. We've seen a bunch of different kingdoms. Yeah, we're reminiscing here as we're going up. Ooh. Can't go up there without the super flip. I mean, sure, we got shot down and stuff along the way. Well, you actually can't do it there. It's still a little bit too high. But yeah, this was an epic journey, I gotta say. And... Whee! <laughs> Just jump straight up over here. But think of all the hats! Hats, I tell you, hats! So yeah, as I was saying about the spire, a lot, a lot lo a lot taller than it looks. You can shake the climb faster, of course, but it just keeps on going and keeps on going. It's just there. This trip was really amazing. It's all here to sort of kind of give you a little reminiscing with Cappy. Thank you, Mario Mario. It's been an honor walking a mile on your head. And... Behold, the final unique moon and triple moon in the game. Yeah! So yes, as you could tell by the moon count, there are exactly 880 unique moons in this game. You can obviously buy more at the shop, as I mentioned before, but they're not the unique moons. I got the invisibility hat! Now I'm just a shadow of my former self! <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell where you are in relation to things, but now when, you're, when you approach people, you're like, <laughs> What is this? I don't understand what this... <laughs> this one is a walking shadow? 
I, I can see a shadow, but I don't know what the heck this is. This is, this is a ghost. Luigi would be scared by this. <laughs> but strangely, Pauline can talk to you. She's got eyes that can see through anything. Anything, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and now... And now... I, I, I get to sort of tell where I am. <laughs> this, this makes things a lot harder. Because you only tell your vertical position. Let's put the last three moons in there. See it at 880. And get another upgrade to the Odyssey. The yellow sail turns gold! A new portrait of Bowser appeared in the wedding hall. So yeah, did you think we were done just because we collected all the moons? No! No! There's a new portrait of Bowser. Bowser. There's the Luigi stuff. There's the outfits. There's the VR stuff. So no, the post-game may have had a lot of moons, but now we're in the post-game. Post-game. <laughs> so with that... I'm gonna end up the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I get to showing you off stuff. I'm also gonna be collecting coins and uh, outfits and stuff like that off camera and whatnot, you know, just to speed things along. Plus the moons, too. I'm trying to go to 999 moons. Uh, you'll see why when we get there.